Hey guys, we are back with our weekly grocery challenge. This week we are going to two stores. It's going to be a little bit different than last week's challenge, but it's definitely going to compare two stores and tell you which store is going to offer you the best safe. All right, guys, and this week's video is sponsored by Vipon. They offer amazing Amazon deals of up to 50 to 80% off. So I know we're getting closer to the holiday season and those little extra last minute gifts that you need. They offer daily deals. So you can just go ahead and check their site, vipon.com, and you can view all kinds of deals. They have deals on clothing, tech, uh, deals. They have deals on toys. So just everything that you're looking for this holiday season. All right, guys. And I am so impressed with the company. I've watched review videos on purchases that people have made and they are seriously super, super happy. So I not only wanted to share their site with you since we are savvy savers, but Vipon wanted me to let you know that they are doing an amazing holiday giveaway. So when you shop their site December 5th through December 20th, you will be entered to win $2,000. They're doing a $2,000 giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and link a whole bunch of information about this giveaway and also link Vipon.com so you can go ahead and check and see what daily deals they have to offer. So thank you so much to Vipon.com, but now we are ready to go into the store and grab some of our deals. grocery list 10 lists that you 10 items that you would probably get every time you go shopping so like things like bread basic staple items compare them at Target and Walmart and see which store is gonna offer us what are they gonna offer us the best the best deals the best savings 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 there we go same thing <laughs> So here at Target, one of their store brands is Market Pantry, and one item that we go through is bread pretty quick. So we're gonna grab one of these at $1.39. All right, so another item that we go through a lot in the house is like tuna or canned chicken. So we're gonna get premium white chicken here, and it's, what is it, 99 cents? So we're gonna see what kind of a deal we can go ahead and snag if it's better here at Target or Walmart. We did go through this last time, but what is your favorite kind of cheese? Like, oh, okay, that's on sandwiches. What about like for like crackers? Like if we just have like crackers and cheese? Um, probably Colby. Colby Jack? Yeah. I think it's a toss between Colby and Pepper Jack, right? Because we get Pepper Jack a lot. We do like Pepper Jack. So we're gonna add in some um, sliced uh, brick cheese, hello and see where it is cheaper. Okay, so here we have our 10 staple items that we generally pretty much get in a shopping trip. Eggs, uh, bread, we like to have a frozen pizza on hand just for an easy, quick meal. The kids love the baked cheese squares and it's a knockoff of Cheez-Its and then peanut butter and jelly. So let's go to checkout. <music> So we just left Target and we are on our way to Walmart. We got 10 staple items. We're just gonna repeat the exact 10 staple items at Walmart. Walmart is literally across the street, so we don't have too far to go. So we are gonna see, we'll show you the receipts and see which store is cheaper. The cool thing with Target is you can use Target Cartwheel and there were two items that we got that had Cartwheel offers on their store brands. So that may help with savings at Target. So here is one of the items we grabbed at Target. We're getting a loaf of great value, which is Walmart's store brand. Their wheat bread, it looks like it's $1.38. All right, so we are done here at Walmart. We have our 10 items. We are headed to checkout. 
Okay guys, so we are back from the store. This is everything that we got. I have Walmart food here. And I have Target food <laughs> <A delayed>. here. <laughs> He's got the Target. So Walmart, um, we got great value. So if you're not familiar, the Walmart store brand is great value. Uh, Target has Market Pantry. That's their brand. And I know Target has other brands too, like coffee brands. Yeah. I can't think of them right now, know. but exactly. they do. Um, so we just chose like 10 items that we would probably have on our grocery list. Nothing um, extravagant, all basic items that any family might have. Um, juice, we always get, you know, usually some kind of crackers for the kids. A frozen pizza is a good backup for a meal. Bread, eggs, cheese, peanut butter and jelly. So all basic items pretty much. Yep. Um, and one thing we were thinking is, it looked like the Walmart side was like bulkier but we're thinking just because of the packaging like the pizzas yeah. in, a, in a box in versus box. um this one not yeah in the box. <laughs> not in the box there <laughs> but nonetheless i guess the conclusion we came to is groceries cost a lot of money yes and you know and it really doesn't matter which store you go to or what you know if you're gonna just stick with this simple uh, store brand then it's going it's pretty much going to be the same well one thing that we know is store brand is a lot cheaper than name brand oh, yeah, so find try store brands if you haven't already because you know a pizza like this versus DiGiorno is gonna you know save your family money but then think about it too DiGiorno pizza pizzas are much thicker Yes. So they fill you up. They're more of a meal. So you got to kind of weigh out what is going to work better for your money. It's not about just taking your grocery money and going to the store. You have to put some planning into it. That's the most important thing to do. Um, but yes, definitely look into store generic brands because they will save you some money. Um, another thing is, is yeah, I mean, just groceries are just way too much. So we're gonna go through the totals for each section here. I'm gonna start with Walmart. So 10 items, and I'll show you guys the receipts at the end so you can see those as well, and a side-by-side -side comparison per item of what things cost. But for the 10 items that I purchased, the subtotal was $16.82. There was 29 cents for tax, a total of $17.11 for 10 items. And Target, the subtotal was $17 dollars and 35 cents with a 30 cent tax and which came out to 17 dollars and 65 cents and so as you can see not much difference no. at all um so i was kind of surprised because i kind of thought the walmart side would be we were not getting expensive items so i knew it was going to be 20 dollars or less for this trip each store but i thought the walmart side might save us a couple yeah. of dollars but really, there wasn't much savings. And one thing that I want to mention is we used Target Cartwheel. Mm -hmm. um, can I see the receipt? Yes. <laughs> so there were two items that had Cartwheel offers. The first one was the jelly. The jelly had 10% off. And that's one thing with Target is a lot of time their store brands will have 5 or 10% off items. So keep that in mind. And then 15% off on the eggs. The eggs were 99 cents. They were dropped down to 84 cents versus the eggs at Walmart that were 98 cents. So 98 cents at Walmart and then they were 84 cents at Target. So Target was cheaper. So if there were more items that had cartwheel offers, I truly think that Target would have been the better deal. Yeah. So how did you feel about this food challenge? Were you surprised? Did you not care? I was were a little you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, I was a little surprised. I really thought that Walmart might have been a little bit better. Yeah. Just because, you know, that, that's what it's kind of known for. But right, you would it's think. Really not much of a difference right and I used to shop at Walmart a lot for groceries and I haven't done it in a while um, just because we have gotten meat there before that yeah. wasn't so good and I mean that can happen at any store so sure. I'm not just pointing the right. finger at Walmart but honestly at Target I've really found some great savings on food so as being a shopper and coupon or not generic items you can't use coupons obviously unless there's like a store coupon which Target does that all the time where they'll have like spend $50 in groceries get a $10 Target gift card that is where you want to shop Target for sure because you're gonna be getting savings on 
generic items like that that's going to mm -hmm. save your family money. So always keep that in mind. But other than that, not much of a price difference in these items. But if you guys want to see more of these videos, because we have fun, don't oh, we? Oh yeah. Okay, so we really couldn't do much filming in Walmart today because they kept announcing over the loudspeaker throughout the store that they were giving away free items to adult shoppers. Adult so shoppers. I was like, okay. So they had like, so of course, and I do apologize. <laughs> I took away what, 15 minutes of our At day? At least. At least 15 minutes. At so least. you had to go to this table where they did this demonstration, but the tablecloth like showed wine brands and it said like essential oils. And I'm thinking, okay, so maybe they're gonna give us wine. Maybe they're gonna give us essential oils. Not the case. You got we got suckered into a demonstration that after 15 minutes we had to just step away. So he is true, not everything is free, and that's why I say in couponing you cannot get everything for free. So you definitely prove that today. Don't so, just don't chase the free stuff because chances are it's not free. In couponing, yes, sometimes we do get yeah. free stuff, but overall in life basically you could not always get everything for free. So that's why we didn't record much in Walmart because it was so loud. Every time I would start to, the person would go over the loudspeaker and start talking about the free items. So and on that note, if you guys want to see more different challenges, comment and let us know. I know we've had some requests for like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I think that would be fun yeah, if we did good. like a 50 and 50. Mm -hmm. But if you guys have ideas, please comment and let us know because that really helps us to Put together what we want to do and what we want to see we definitely need to throw in like a walmart and aldi kind of a challenge and see but looking yeah. at target again today you know they were <laughs> we kind of the to, same yeah we might have to have a triple threat or something put all these in with these two with the well yeah we could do that <laughs> or i know a lot of you guys have said a shopping challenge me versus you like oh, that's not gonna even be fun i think that would be fun but we'd have to have some kind of, a, that would be fun, like a meal plan. You'd have to put together a meal plan. Do you know what a meal plan is? <laughs> yeah, what are those baked with dinners? <laughs> right, that's what we would be eating. But nonetheless, whatever you have to comment, we would love to go ahead and read. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, before you head out, just give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. Take care.